Hi and welcome to Themico. In this video, we will discuss more about computer simulation and why simulation is considered to be one of the most powerful tools in our toolset. By the end of the video, we expect you to be able to understand what computer simulation is and as the title of the video suggests, why simulation is important. Let's go ahead. Strictly speaking, a computer simulation can be defined as the process of creating an abstract representation of a system that we will call a model. Please note that a model can be a representation of anything in life. It is not limited to a mechanical or electrical model. It can be an economic model, the model of a virus, or anything that could be described using equations. In our case, the model is limited to dynamic mechanical systems, as we discussed in the first video of the course. Please note that the simulation of a mechatronic machine covers only a small fraction of the entity of a computer simulation model. It, however, can also be integrated within other models, where, for example, a whole production line is simulated. But back to the original question, why do we need to simulate? We like the idea that simulating can predict behavior of a machine under certain conditions. This helps you to understand how modifications affect machine performance. Or from another perspective, what could be the performance of a damaged machine, or how to handle operational limits? These matters could also be addressed by using embedded models. As a summary, a simulation model allows you to dive into the machine and see how it performs. This is why simulation is sometimes defined as an accelerated learning process. Why would you want to model the failures or dangerous scenarios of a machine or system? Well, think in terms of safety. Simulating a vehicle crash to understand how the car, as the system, behaves and how to minimize the damage in case of such a drastic event. We think neither you nor we would like to be live test specimens in crash tests. Now you might think, but they actually test vehicle crashes with mannequins and a bunch of sensors attached to it and to the car. Yes, that is true. And that is one of the ways of testing the behavior of a car under these situations. In fact, practical experiments are still needed in some extreme cases. Often, however, in many cases, the development work is based on simulations and experiments may be used for verification purposes. Sensors can give you data about some part of the mechanical system during its operation. This data can be used as input for a computer simulation model, making it possible to understand what is happening in other parts of the system. This makes it possible to build an understanding of the state of the system without the extensive use of sensors. As an example, motion data measured from an exercise volunteer can be used to analyze strains and strain rates imposed on the volunteer's femur bone. What we have just presented to you is one of the thousands of examples of why simulation is necessary. Scientists are even simulating the bite of a dinosaur. Don't believe me? Ask the course instructor about it. And you don't need to travel back in time a few million years to get a dinosaur and make some tests. You mentioned it. If you can put an equation on it, you can simulate it. Following from the dinosaur example, the beauty of simulation is that you do not need the physical machine or specimen. If you can have access to the physical data, then you can still complement and power up your simulation. You now see that there are many reasons why we need to simulate. But one of the strongest ones is to answer the question, what if? I hope you got a good sense of why simulations are necessary and that you can answer this question to anyone wondering about it. You can think of a simulation example and justify what could be the benefits of such a simulation model. You can justify it even economically. In the next video, we will narrow down the simulation benefits to our core study field, multi-body systems. Don't miss it. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.